Yo, what's happening? So I'm going to walk through this very empty train. There are some people on it, you'll see in a second. I bought the first class ticket because it was just like five euros more. It was 21 euros, I think, uh, for this uh, ticket all the way to Lugano. And so I thought that I would uh, try to find the first class seat because this clearly is not it. So I started going to what I thought was the front of the train because I figured the front of the train will probably be where the first class is, but then the train started moving in the other direction. So I decided to keep on going all the way to the end there where I started the video. And now I'm going back. It is quite a long train and uh, see if the first class car is up ahead. If not, this is fine. I'll just be happy to get there. But uh, as long as I paid for first class, then might as well try to find it. And in the process, so, a uh, full tour of this uh, train. So we're still in Milano then. Whoa, and it is uh, pouring down rain out there. All right, we got a long ways to go to get to the uh, front of the train. So I am in Switzerland now. To the best of my understanding, I think that I'm on the Swiss side of the border. No checks or anything there. Now I have to change to another train going to Lugano. I don't know yet the platform number, so uh, let's figure this out. Lugano? Lugano? Lugano platform uh, five. five. Grazie, grazie. Platform five. I'm guessing that's saying to uh, Switzerland, Svizzetta. Oh man, I'm not sure. Lugano? See, si, Lugano? Grazie. Just in time. No car. 
Lucarno is Lugano. Nice looking train at least. This is a step up. So it looks like it leaves at 1.11. It is 12.56 right now, so I actually have plenty of time. Bathroom tour. This is Lugano, nice looking city and an improvement in the weather from Milan. And I do not have any hotel reserved yet. I'm not even sure if I'm going to stay here yet or not. Need to uh, make up my mind what I'm doing. I'll check the train options. I might actually just keep on cruising today, but I want some time to at least like wander around the city a little bit, especially if I can leave my uh, backpack in there. So, if uh, you saw my last video, the last one that I posted was from Verano, and you might have noticed that uh, I didn't post much from Milan. Just the uh, one where I was walking along telling the story, and then the late night uh, football celebrations in the streets there. The reason is that I was very busy video editing my other videos from Italy, and I just wanted to catch up with those, and then I could have stayed another day, but I was just kind of ready to uh, move on. It turns out it would have been kind of a waste of time in Milan today anyways because of the rain there. Maybe it would have changed, but uh, anyways, I was just like ready to uh, cruise and finally get to Switzerland. This has been top of my list to uh, come to on this trip, so I am very stoked to be here. Excited to see the mountains, be back in the Alps on a nice sunny day. Beautiful lake there. Change of uh, country, change of culture, change of language. Now, I want to find out the possible train destinations from here, and then that will help me make up my mind. So you want to stay like two or three hours here, then you want to go to Italy. Exactly, yes. If, uh, if there's one at a good time. How long is the journey with the train? Four hours. Okay. There is, for example, a train at 402. Okay. About two hours from here to Lucerne, and then from Lucerne to Interlaken also. And what time it arrives in Interlaken? It arrives around 8 o'clock. How much is this? Uh... One way. One way, yes. We have a half a car. Sorry? We have a half a car. I don't know what that is, so I guess. I just arrived from Italy, so I probably don't. This is some card, you said? Yeah, this is a reduction card where you pay just half of the price. I see, yeah, I don't, I don't have How this. How long will you stay in Switzerland? I don't know, maybe two weeks. And what would you like to do? I will go to various mountain uh, destinations. Wengen? Wengen? Wengen. So we're going to go up to Jungfrau Yes, take the funicular up and get the mountain views. I haven't done a lot of research, obviously, so... Yes. I just know that Wengen is supposed to be quite nice. No, I'm just asking because if you're planning to do some journeys by train, then we can check for another, for another option for like a tourist ticket. I see. And yeah. then it will be less expensive because now for one way, from here to Interlaken, we pay in second class 84 francs. And then we have some different offers that will show you. Yeah, let's see what the... Uh, 
Is there like a two week pass or something like this or? Okay. Lovely lake there you can see and Lugano is spreading out. Nice little town. So I'm going to walk down into it. So I don't have a whole lot of time because I kind of got lost in a time suck there. So I have to be back to the train station in less than an hour, like in 45 minutes. I kind of got lost in a time suck trying to lock up my backpack in a locker because then I realized that I needed Swiss francs and coins specifically to use the locker. And so I tried to find a currency exchange place because I have some euros, had some euros left, only like 20 euros left. And then finding the currency exchange took some time and then waiting and then I finally got that done and uh, got the big backpack locked. In the process, then I learned something. I made a little mistake earlier in the video when I said different language. So in the process of trying to get some change, some uh, Swiss coins, then I went to a supermarket, a little convenience store there at the train station and asked if I could uh, buy in euros and then get Swiss franc change back. And she said, yes, they also speak English here. I mean, most of the people here speak uh, good English. And so I got a uh, juice and then went to uh, get the change and got the change. And then in the uh, process, then I tried to ask her, how do you say thank you in Swiss German? because I wanted to learn, you know, start learning the language. I know that in German it's Danke, but I'm not actually sure if it's exactly the same in Swiss German. Okay, let's get past this noise. So I asked the lady at the convenience store, how do you say thank you in Swiss German? And she didn't understand what I was asking her. I tried several times, like rewording it, even though her English was pretty good. And she wasn't understanding and finally she seemed to be getting annoyed at me, so I gave up. And then I went and got the uh, currency changed and asked him and he understood and he said, we don't speak Swiss German, we speak Italian. We're here in southern Switzerland near the Italian border and so they speak Italian here. And so, point being, Italian is the first language in this part of Switzerland. I'm sure that they also speak English, of course, most of the people. Many will speak French, many will speak Swiss German, German. All right, nice little uh, plaza here. So, I am not staying here tonight. I bought a ticket to Lucerne, a one-way ticket. The uh, first thing you need to know about Switzerland before you come here is it is expensive. It is Iceland expensive, or you could say Iceland is Switzerland expensive, whatever, they're about the same. Both really expensive. So the train was uh, 60 something francs, like 64 francs I think, more than 70 bucks, and it is only like a two hour train ride. The uh, train that I just took from Milan to here, there were actually three trains involved. The uh, very short one at the beginning and then uh, a change in Chiasso. That was 21 euros or like 23 dollars. This one, about the same time, is uh, like three times as expensive. So that is Switzerland. Got to get used to it. So I'm staying in Lucerne tonight. I haven't actually booked anything yet. But I think that I will stay there for uh, two nights because I haven't been there before. So nobody ever checked my train ticket or my vaccination card or my Swiss entry form or anything. The official rules for entering Switzerland is that 
you have to be either vaccinated or have proof of a negative COVID test. And also you have to fill out this online form. It was pretty simple, but uh, nothing was checked, no border control, never saw any kind of a border thing at all. So uh, I guess coming through on the trains, then it's maybe easier than flying in. <laughs> Some kind of filming event going on here. I wonder if it's a commercial or something because they're like gonna film the guy. They're strapping him in there and then gonna film it. Long Lake Festival Lugano. So I guess it's Long Lake Jazz Festival. That sounds nice. But what dates? It doesn't. Uh, Mention if that's happening like now or that would be cool if festivals are coming back in Europe. Let's check out this guy, looks uh, pretty stoked. Victorious, bow and an arrow. So here are the dates for the festival, 1st of June to 19th of September, so it's a whole summer thing. Ongoing now, I guess. Basil, Bellinzona, Luzerne. That's where I'm going. I think it's a couple hours away, maybe 90 minutes, something. I'm sure it's going to be a very beautiful train ride.
raining and the river is really high. If you can see, it's almost to the level of the uh, sidewalk there. There are barricades, this uh, orange thing and elsewhere. And we got some, oh, we got some goats. And some blues music. Oh, he just finished the song. Let's hope there's another one coming. It's a nice restaurant that was kind of down in the alley, so I thought maybe it would be a little more affordable, but I think it is a pretty uh, fancy place. There is a set menu for 69 Swiss francs, a three course meal that is like 80 bucks, but a cheap order. <laughs> on the menu but uh, appetizers for one that's like $20 for a ham, sausages, bacon cheese, like a mixed plate. This is the wine list and it just kind of goes on and on I don't know what to do because I just want a glass of red wine of any sort which is the red wine choices? I couldn't quite tell. This, one. Uh, this is the white wine. Okay. And this is the red wine yeah, by I the see. glass. Okay, great. Okay, uh, coming back. Okay, sure. Okay, I will have the uh, Merlot here. A uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. Yeah. Uh, by the glass, yes, please. By the glass, yes, yes. please. And uh, the large. The yes, with, with, with lettuce. Uh, it's like it's, uh, French, there's a Italian sauce. Uh, Italian, uh, the, the dressing? The dressing for the salad. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, Italian. Italian? It, is the salad, is it only lettuce or it's also tomatoes? A bit, it's a bit, not really a lot. It's a bit more green salad. I see. You know what, I'll have the fries. The French fries. The French fries, uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Time. 